I'm going to try repotting my plants and see if I can keep them alive this time. Let's see what happens. When we decide to give our plants a new home, we're often met with a mix of excitement and anxiety. Will our plants thrive in their new environment or will they wither away and die? The truth is, many of us have been there before. We've repotted our plants with the best of intentions, only to watch them struggle and eventually meet their demise. But why does this happen? Is it just bad luck or is there something more to it? One of the main reasons why plants often struggle after repotting is because of root disturbance. When we remove a plant from its pot, we inevitably disturb the roots, which can cause the plant to go into shock. This shock can be fatal if we're not careful, and it's one of the most common reasons why plants die after repotting. Another major culprit is improper care after repotting. We often get so caught up in the excitement of giving our plants a new home that we forget to provide them with the right conditions to thrive. This can include things like overwatering, underwatering, or providing inadequate light and nutrients. A third reason why plants may struggle after repotting is because they're not getting enough time to adjust to their new surroundings. When we move a plant to a new pot, it's like moving to a new city. It takes time to adjust to the new environment, the new neighbors, and the new rhythm of life. If we don't give our plants enough time to adjust, they can become stressed, weak, and vulnerable to disease. And finally, poor soil quality can also play a role in why plants struggle after repotting. If the soil we're using is low quality, it may not be providing our plants with the right nutrients and minerals they need to thrive. This can lead to a range of problems, from nutrient deficiencies to root rot and fungal infections. So what happens when we repot our plants and disturb their roots? Well, when we remove a plant from its pot, we're essentially tearing apart its root system, which can cause the plant to go into shock. This shock can be fatal if we're not careful, and it's one of the most common reasons why plants die after repotting. When we repot our plants, we need to be mindful of the amount of shock we're causing. One way to minimize shock is to handle the roots with care, making sure not to disturb them too much. We can also use techniques like root pruning to help the plant recover more quickly. Another way to reduce the risk of shock is to provide our plants with the right conditions to thrive. This includes things like providing adequate light, water, and nutrients, as well as maintaining good air circulation and keeping an eye out for pests and diseases. One of the most crucial tips I can give you when it comes to repotting plants is to monitor their water intake carefully. It's easy to overwater our plants when we first repot them, but this can be disastrous. Instead, we should start with a small amount of water and gradually increase it as the plant becomes more established. Repotting plants can be a game changer for their health and well-being, but only if we do it right. By understanding the common mistakes we make when repotting, and by taking steps to minimize shock and provide the right conditions, we can give our plants the best possible chance of thriving in their new environment. In summary, repotting plants can be a challenge, but it doesn't have to be fatal. By being mindful of root disturbance, improper care, poor soil quality, and shock, we can give our plants the best possible chance of thriving in their new environment. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share your own repotting experiences in the comments below. If you want to learn more about plant care tips, check out my video on the top five mistakes you're making with your indoor plants.